Shalom, Shalom. All praise and glory and honor is to Yahweh. Bar Shum, Yahweh Shai, Bar Shum, Rakakudash. Shalom, Lobakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I'm going to play this video to show you. As you can see on the title, are you going to be conscripted? Fresh calls for war, world war three draft. All right. And this is um this in Britain, in the UK, Great Britain. All right, NATO. If you want, if you want to uh, put put them together, <clears throat> this is the ten horns. All right, these are the seven heads, ten horns that is spoken by the prophet John. All right, and we're going to um, listen to what he say because this is not only coming, this is not only happening, you know, in Babylon the Great because we know there's going to be a draft in America. We know that these devils don't have enough men to go to war. These devils are so proud, you know, that they want to go to war with Russia, China. They want to go to war with Iran. They want to go to war with all these um, uh, different nations, right? And they don't even have enough men. Right now, the only thing they have is weapons. And the only reason why they got that weapon is because the blessing that came from Isaac. <clears throat> okay? which was our Lord in the spirit, if you could receive it. And I'm going to play this real quick to show you that this draft is going to happen in NATO. It's going to happen with UK. It's going to happen with Britain. It's going to happen with all these different uh, NATO countries. The Ten Horns, they all got to get drafted. They're going to start this draft. So you know it's definitely coming to Babylon, the great America. Let's play this. You are having a fantastic day. Now, today we're going to talk about something that has been trending all across the mainstream media, across social media, and has had a lot of people in a bit of concern. And we're going to be talking about conscription and draft into the military to fight for your country, maybe to defend or go away on a war far away. And if we look at the climate of the world now, it does seem that a major conflict is closer than it has been for a long time. And with a major conflict, you need massive manpower. And this in turn, with weakened militaries and a huge need for people, has met, led many to the conclusion that a military draft would have to take place in Western nations to fulfill the needs of those defense forces, those armed forces. Now, I spent a great deal of my adult life in the military, in the combat corps, in the Australian military. And I've worked a hell of a lot with both the British and the Americans. So I think I have a fair idea to speak on some parts of this, or at least the feelings soldiers, a current serving guys have, as most of my friends are either transitioned out of the military or are still currently serving. And Australia, the United Kingdom, the USA, and a bunch of other nations just cannot keep troops. The retention is horrific, even with retention bonuses, even with promises and carrots dangled. They just cannot keep guys. They cannot get the guys they need, and they can't keep them. And this isn't just being caused by one thing but nor will it just be fixed by one thing. Some people will say throw money at it. If throwing money at it was the solution, we wouldn't have the problem. And I think the main issue is the alignment of the government and the public's priorities are varying greater than ever. And this just doesn't help that people don't see eye to eye with the government. And events in past years have lowered the trust between the public and the government more than ever. Now, frontline troops are overwhelmingly 
men. You'll hear numbers of the defense force as a whole, but if you start zooming in and you get down to your combat corps, your armored, your artillery, your infantry, absolutely overwhelmingly men, the Australian military has spent millions upon millions to attract females to these jobs. One, the attraction into these jobs there just wasn't that many women actually wanted to go into these. And a lot of the women who did go into them got injured just due to the physiological differences between men and women. That is not saying that some didn't succeed and did very, very well in these positions. It's just talking as a broad overall picture, combat corps are majority men. And typically these men are of a certain background, certain upbringing. And they're not only attracted to these frontline jobs because of this, but they're recruited because of these bits that make these guys, these guys are attracted to this because these guys are warriors. And not only will people say, well, I want to go and you know serve my nation, fight for my nation. There are guys who just want to go and kill people. And like it or not, even if we're told those people are psych, whatever, there's people like that who are attracted into those positions. said you got some men that just want to go kill people and you got a lot of um you got a lot of different men that are coming in here foreign troops you see the uh you see the high volume of immigrants coming into america through the darien gap into panama to the mexican border to the <clears throat> and they entering into this place illegally and the whole situation with Biden um, and, the, and the state of Texas is all some bullshit. This is, this is all part of um, this is all part of the agenda to allow, you know, migrants to come into the states because these same men. I'm you speaking about thousands of men. These same men are going to be used. They're going to be used in this World War III. America does not have enough personnel. You heard what this man said. He said UK, Britain, England, Australia, America, the US. He put the US in there. Do not, cannot, for some reason, cannot keep men in their military. All right? So, we know this is the reason why they're allowing them to go into uh, 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 the whole bullshit about cut the barbed wires, and now you got this thing going on over there, you know, uh, uh, getting um, out of order. That's just going to create more chaos and civil unrest, man. And this is what the elites want. This uh this uh governor out there in Texas, he's just a puppet. Biden is a puppet. These are these are peons, man. When you look at our politicians and these governors and mayors, all of them, they're just puppets. They're peons, man. You know, those that control, we sp we speak about it all the time. Those that are in control, you ain't gonna see them. These are them that speak in the dark, you know. Psalm 64, Psalm 73. <clears throat> so then you're gonna have these men that are just they just killers, man. They 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 allowing illegal straight felons, criminals, man, killers coming in, coming in through, coming into the states, allowing them to come in. Now you had a you had a you had an incident. You had an incident with these uh, migrants. It was like five men that attacked like two policemen. They were let loose the next day with, with no bail, with, with, with bail. You know, there wasn't um, prosecuted or whatever the case might be. Why you think that is? Why you think that is? Because they don't, they cannot, they cannot allow these men to go into the system, you know, because they need these men. This is all protocol. These, this is all protocol, man. Because what we're seeing right now, the shit is going to hit the fan, man. Because you got these criminals. They're going to be a, a, 
That's why Jacob's trouble is going to be a dark day. These same criminals that are coming in through the Darien Gap into the states and invasion, they going to turn up. And you know how the Northern Kingdom get down, man, on Mexicans and on Guatemalans and, you know, you got, they, they, they chopping heads, fingers, toes. This thing is going to get real ugly in Babylon the Great, but, that, but see, but see, this is what Yahabah Shem Yahashah wants. But going back to this draft, are you going to be cons conscripted? This is in Britain. This is over there at the UK. They're, they're about to do a draft. They, they, because look, man, whenever you see a draft, you, you see any country speaking about a draft, it's because they're going to war, man. It's no ifs, buts about it, man. You're going to war. All right? I got something up here. Listen to this. Let's listen to this right here. As you can see, all right? <clears throat> War news. Very bad development. British Army chief tells people to prepare for general conscription for king and nation. You know, because we know they don't have presidents over there. They have a king. All right? Now, we, well now let's go into this word conscription. As you can see, conscription is the state mandated. All right? It's mandated. Meaning, meaning you have no, no choice. You have no decision. You, you going to be drafted, man, into this war. And this is coming to Babylon and Great America. All you little wicked ass, wicked damn critters, man. You demons, man. With your pants hanging down. You out here gang banging. You know, you killing one another because of the ops. That's the ops, man. That's the ops. This my block, this and that. You know, hey, the Lord going to grab you niggas. You want to kill so bad, right? You want to be gangster so bad. You want to be thugged out. Well, you're going to go right into that war. They're going to grab your little ass. You're going to be crying, talking about what's going on. You know, they need men. And, they, and, and these devils are going to grab you up. They're going to take all of y'all, stack y'all up in buses, you know what I'm saying, and force y'all into this war. And you ain't going to have no choice. You're going to end up somewhere in the middle fucking east. You're going to wake up and say, what the hell just happened? Middle of the night, you was damn kidnapped and shit. They show you that in the, in, in the, in the, um, they show you that in the movie, The Squid Game. Hey, the elites were running everything in The Squid Game. And in order for them to play their little game, they took these people, and 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 then you, you you there was a scene where they were in the van, and then the dudes that had the, their faces covered with these masks, they uh start uh spraying the, this this um this 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 smoke, these fumes or whatever you want to call it, um like some tear like 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 some tear gas, and and, and what it did it um. It put them to sleep. It knocked their ass out. Then the next day, they woke up in this in this place. They didn't have no idea where, where was they at. You talking about a real devil, man? This devil don't care about you. This this devil only cares about power. Uh uh uh, uh power money. And, and that sword that dum dum dum. Them, that 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 swore, man. So you, it, it's going to come to America, ba Babylon the Great. And we're going to see how tough you are then. All right? It's mandated. Conscription is the state mandated enlistment of people in a national service, mainly a military service. All right? A military service. All right. 
Jeremiah 50, verse 11, because you were glad, as you go in the title, the prophecy concerning Babylon. All right, let's jump down. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoice, O ye destroyers of my heritage, you devils, man, you Edomites, you done kidnap, hijack, rape, murder, destroy. Hey, you, you did so much damage to Jake. They out here walking like zombies. Don't know where to go left or right. You know? And you're going to have to pay for that. But see, the Lord allow you to, to, matter of fact, listen to this. Because ye are grown fat as the hypha at grass. Hey, the Lord fatten your ass up for the kill. Matter of fact, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. The Lord has fattened you for the kill. All right? Isaiah 34 and 6. The sword of the Lord, Yahweh, is filled with blood. It is made fat. What? It is made fat. What? It is made fat with fatness oh ye destroyers of my heritage because ye are grown fat as the hypha at grass man Lord fatten your ass up you devils and with the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams for the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai have his sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia Woo! Yes, indeed. Why? Why are you doing all this, Lord? And the unicorns should come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land should be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, Yahabashim Yahushai, in the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. The Lord. The Lord allow you to become fat because you are grown fat as the hypha at grass and bellow as bulls. Your mother shall be so confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. And who is that talking about? Britain. The ones that are right now talking about a draft. A draft. And these devils over there in Britain, they're going to turn up. The Lord going to put a spirit on them to turn against you devils here in America. Because you dragged them into this war. You proud devils here in America have dragged these devils over there into this war. And the Lord going to put the spirit on these devils to come at you, man. All right? This is all by design, man. All right, all prophecy. The men of the Lord, start with the apostles. The only ones that's giving you these prophecies, man. So what the Lord going to do? All right. Your mother, Britain, shall be so confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert, man. Lord going to do this place. Lord going to utterly do something in this place, man. All right? So we're going to get one or two more scriptures. And um, let's hear a little bit more. And like it or not, these men who are in these positions are typically not in line with the ever-present, what we'll call, I guess, wokeness of the government's that they're trying to instill. And it seems a bit funny when you're in the military and you see this and you're like, but that's not represented in my job or the people around me, at least on the whole. And people see the decisions being made and the uncertain future because of this. And a lot of people ask themselves the question, why would I die for this? Why am I doing a job where I can get paid five times as much over there as I do here when my views... Another thing, these damn devils, that's why they're giving these migrants uh, e, uh, EBT uh, bank cards with 
uh, five, two thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, food stamps, you know, making sure they um they good. That's all because they hey, remember this devil man, and you speaking to this devil. This is the devil for you, man. And we can see me, man. We can see it through the spirit. Oh yeah, we can see that. Let's go. Um, the spirit of life, and they heard a great voice come up in the same hour. There was a, the second woe. Now that's not what I want. I think it's um, Isaiah 13. I always get Isaiah 11 and 13. Those certain, and he do it. For, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns, like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. It is this devil, man. All right. This devil has always been a two-faced, wicked serpent. All right, and he gonna come as that lamb, all innocent and docile. Here you go, I got you. We are gonna take care of you migrants. We are gonna give you some food stand. Just come on, we gonna allow. Uh, uh, you heard Biden say, yeah, just come illegally, come legally, and and do the right thing with the papers and all that, man. And he spake as a dragon. Yeah, he, he, this dude is gonna turn up. He gonna turn up. He start issuing draconian laws. Yeah, we need you to fight in this war. You are you a citizen now. That's why they're allowed to vote. They're allowed to vote. You got migrants that are not legal. They have no paperwork. But guess what? What you but guess what? They're going to go to war. Mama, what are you doing? You cut you cut that heart? You trying to cut a heart? Oh. You want me to do it for you? I'm almost done here. So I get brothers. Five year old. All right. Let's get back to this, man. And most of my you know, team's views don't actually align with where the government is sitting. You see people burn flags in the street a few days ago on Australia Day, people saying F Australia and burning the flag that you are meant to die under so that person can enjoy the freedom to do that. And a lot of people to this will say, no, thank you. Now, I served in the military myself and I... And in Australia, if I'm not mistaken, it was conquered by the British. You know, them Englishmen, them Britons, man, you devils. Because that land was over there. Those those were the... Um, um, Damn. Um, the Aborigines. Those are those people, man. The Aborigines. They were the the the, the um Aborigi Australianos. These were the people of um of Australia. Japheth. These Japhetic people, man. This Japheth right here. This Japheth right here. All right, and you and you devils went over there, just like, just like you, just like you've done. And you went to conquer these people. You killed these people. You conquered. You took over Australia. These 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 are related to the uh, to the Hawaiians. Those people you see over there in Hawaii, the, they're they're related. They are Jaffa. All right, and you devils went over there. I would sign up to serve again, and it would be to serve beside all the lads that I know would sign up again. But personally, I don't agree with a forced conscription. I think the governments of the day have a responsibility to create the environment of the nation that people would actively want to defend her freedom. And even if this freedom came at the cost of one's life, and the governments in the UK, the US and Australia, I think on a whole, aren't creating that environment for people who are passionate about, who are patriotic enough to say, I will die for this nation. Yes, there is a group of people that do it. And these are the ones that go and serve. But I think on a whole and a wider conscription, I think our governments are failing actually to create that environment. And the same people that we are constantly told are the problem are the ones who will be rallied to give their lives to defend the nation. And this comes with all these throwaway words of toxic males, men in jobs. 
Sorry. Yes, you know, I'm not. I'll probably finish and listen to a little bit. But I wanted to, that was the point. Just wanted to bring up this little information, man. All right? Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. All right? And when you go up, it speaks about the seven heads, right? The seven heads and ten horns, all right? And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth, all right? Being backed up by the NATO in the EU. And them seven heads are French, Spain, uh, French, Spain, the Greeks, the Romans, Germania, Germania Major, Germania Minor, Great Britain, which is the seventh, and, and, and it speaks about the eighth, which is America. And there were seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he come, he must continue in a short space. And the beast that was and is and is not even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition, America. All right. You, you, you see Daniel seven and seven. And after after this, I saw in the night vision and behold, a fourth beast, the Roman Empire. Dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth, and it devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Back then the ten horns, today you have more than ten horns. Alright? And um, that that's that's. Let's go here. Let's continue reading. To read them on and okay. I want to get right to the point. And the eyes were eyes of men and mouth speaking things. I think it's twenty seven. Is that right? Let me see. I read it the other day. You know, you read these scriptures over and over, and then all of a sudden you don't know where they at. But that's just part of it. It happens. Sometimes it happens. All right. Verse 20, Daniel 7 and 20. And the ten horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and mouth that speak very great things, who look was more stout than its fellows. You know, America looked down at these European countries, you know, and ultimately, ultimately, that's why Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to put the spirit to the ten horns to destroy this place. The scripture speaks about the least of the flock has drawn them into this World War III. These are Am uh, Amalek, man. And then America got to come and back them up. You know? And now they're going to go into this war. Hey, look, the Lord going to do something with Britain. UK, NATO, these 10 horns are going to get pissed off and they're going to turn against Babylon the Great, man. All right? Where's the scripture that I'm looking for? She will burn her with, with fire. Divide in the time and it, and it shall sit. Burn her flesh. No, I read, just read Revelation 17 and 16. That's not it. I just read it the other day, too. Let me see. Burn her flesh. I know it's one in Daniel. Where we at? Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me, Jake. You Jakes, man. I swear, man. Sometimes, you know, we got to make these lessons more quicker than the other. Because you, you, you Jakes just, man, y'all better get it right. Because if you ain't sincere in this thing, the Lord, man. Sure. Burn 
her perdition. Let me see. I know it, that it's crazy because I, I just what the hell? I swear, man. All right, let's go in here. Perdition. Son of perdition. Go to perdition. Uh, Revelation 17 and 7. Uh, I know it's one in Daniel. Like, come on, give it to me. It happens. It happens. Sometimes it happens. You know, and it's crazy because brothers, they probably like, man, look, man, it's, that is. I thought it was Daniel 7, though, to be honest. There we go. Burn the flames, the beast, NATO, 10 and 11. Uh, Daniel 7 and 10. I was just there, right? Let's go Daniel 7, 8. And verse 10. All right? Yep. All right, yeah. A fury stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands and thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set. And the books were open. And I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. America. I beheld even to the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame, man. All right. And that's what's coming. All right. Now these, now these devils got to, they got to go into this war. They got to go and force a draft. Force a draft. Let's go to, uh, I think it's 2nd Ezra 16. I'll finish it with that. Bridegrooms. Because of plural, you know, they want, they want you. They, oh, they don't want to come up. Okay. That's crazy. All right. Bear with me, brothers. I got it. I'm, I'm almost done. 2nd Ezra 16 and 32. All right, let's go there real quick. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm finish it right here. 16 and 32, all right? I'm going to start at 31. Even so in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old in her ways, and all her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel here there through. This is the point. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. And that's what's coming. We're, we're, we're heading to this war no matter what. Why does say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? prophecy man prophecy because the heavenly father said it this is his testimony through his son this is the testimony of Yahweh Shai alright the heavenly father gave his son Yahweh Shai the blueprint a testimony that he shall speak and he was supposed to give this to his elect and they were going to testify on his behalf through prophecies, man. And this is why uh, 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 the world hates the men of the Lord. Because we're out there condemning this place. And, and you Jakes love this place. And you Israelites. All you different camps. You made your kingdom here already. You, 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 you. You're your hirelings. You have deceived the men. You have fed the flock wrong doctrine. You have become comfortable in your lees, your women. Lord about to do all. He's about to, it's going to be over for all of that, man. Y'all about shimmy out shot. It, it's over for all of that, man. All right? And, 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 hey, hey. The, uh, uh, the U.S. attacking Iraq. Let's not forget about that. You, 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 three Americans. They really don't care about those Americans. They were Jake too. You really think they care about Jake? You know. 
But this thing is getting intense, man. It's getting intense. Call all your how about Shimei Shai, all praise and glory and honor to the every father, Yahweh about Shum, Yahweh Shai about Shum Rakakwadesh. Shalom Lord Bakarium, Shaw Yacharala, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Who rule well. Shalom, Shalom to the old elect and the elect lady, those who truly believe, those that are sincere, stay prayed up. I pray for you, you pray for me. And I mean it. I pray for the whole elect and the elect lady every single day, man. So I hope you pray for us as well. Shalom. Lord will, Yahweh Tazat, you are edified. Lafa shalak yanaya malapanyaka wa rakha kudashka. Ababa ba 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 ba.